So while out and about, you will sometimes come across these queen bees here, as you just saw, they have a crown. Let's talk a little bit about what you need bees for. So with all those queen bees you can collect, when you go into your craft menu, there are two separate things to make. You can make a honey hive, which gives you honey every day, and you can make a propagation hive, which gives you a chance to get additional fruit trees from the honey bees. So what you would do is you would simply add the bees here, as so. You just left click so any worker bees that you catch can go into your hive. And same down here, you can come in and add worker bees and they will give you honey. However, there is one other thing you can do. And we're gonna show you with the largest jar. And I don't know if we have to use the largest jar, but that's what we crafted. Let's make one more beehive. But these beehive jars, these bee jars, um, these, when you break them, will auto fill the hives. Like so, as you can see there. And I, you could run away and just leave it be. But I want it to, I want it to work. And let's see if we can bring it over here too. I don't know if it's gonna make it. And then you see it despawned. But now when you click into this, you see we instantly have honeycomb. And we have worker bees in here as well, which we're actually gonna take out for now. So you can do this repeatedly and make just the smallest size of bee. Uh, jar and get quite a few bees for free that way so very cool I would honestly advise using the smallest bee jar to do this and just repeatedly do that but yeah really really cool on that note that is how you make beehives as well as the propagation hive the more hives you have the better that technique works as you can see we just got a bunch of bees for free and we got a bunch of honeycomb so very cool y'all take care and enjoy Fay farm